Oh, sh**. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. I capped it off pretty well. <laughs> Hi, I like Doritos. Guess what? I found out I could just jump. I'm a dummy. <laughs> Hooray! Yay! Uh, after this, I might want to make a store run. Dude, aren't, can't you jump on top of that? And no, it's oh, too really? high. You push it down, yeah, and then you bring it over here, and mm. then you can get on the chain link fence. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Don't you have to hit that crystal? That I'm going to drop there? a bomb onto it. That's why they keep talking about the flower. Uh, the bullshit. Oh, yeah, the crop is the bomb. Fuck. Right, right. Mm hmm. Huh. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. That was a pretty big subject we tackled in the last episode. Nope. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um. Let's see. <laughs> I'm looking through my topics list on Google Sheets and frickin'. Oh! Well, actually, no, I'll tell that story another time. Oh. It's fucking hilarious. This one right here? Yeah. Wait. Wait. Yeah, they can definitely hear that. Oh, okay. Well, could you uh, bleep that at least so that yes. I, it won't ruin the joke when I tell it? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Fuck it, we'll tell it. But but still bleep it so that okay. we don't ruin the... <laughs> okay, okay, I will, I will. <laughs> you guys did not just hear hey, that. Hey, were, were you gonna tell a joke where the punchline is this? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so uh, back on... I, Back on stories from when I was younger, right? Mm -hmm. um, we went to the mall one time, a bunch of us, my friends and I. Mm -hmm. uh, and man, oh Jesus! Yeah, I was, I was thinking of telling this joke when I'm not doing something like this, so I can actually pay attention. But I'll give it my best go. Go for it, dude. So we went to the mall and we decided to take the bus because we weren't 16. We were probably like 12 or 13 years old, and uh, so we had to take public transportation. We were waiting downtown at a bus stop. Uh, pretty far away from our house, just fucking waiting. Uh, Ooh, let's see what his secret is real quick. Oh, yeah, you can roll around. Oh, I thought he was oh. going to say something. Oh, swing your sword. I did not know that, actually. Oh, wow. Cool. That's good to know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we were waiting at a bus stop, and this dude, uh, this, this fucking big dude with, like, he had a, a real deep voice, and he was from the south, and, uh... Man, this fucking guy comes up to us. He's like, "Yo, you guys got change for like fifty, or for for a dollar or something like that." And we're like, "No, sorry, man, uh, we don't." And then he was just talking to us for a while. Oh, great! And just out of curiosity and stuff, I don't know how we got on this subject. I I don't know how it came into the conversation, but uh, he was, I don't know, just talking to us about change or some shit and. Out of the blue, he's like, man, you you guys are pretty young to be around here and shit, and you gotta be careful and stuff, and like, man, th there can be some weird people around here, and we're like, yeah, dude, we're, we gotta watch out for perverts, and he's like, yeah, if there's anything I don't like, it's perverts, child molesters and shit, and we're like, yeah, I think that's a pretty <laughs> universal standpoint, and, um, and then one of my other friends was just like, yeah, we have a friend... A uh, friend named A, and uh, that guy, that guy is a pervert. And the guy, the guy. Oh, oh, oh no! Jesus! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Dang oh Jesus! Oh. <laughs> that was that was quite graceful. Yeah. <laughs> uh, please continue. So the dude, uh, he gets real serious, like gets real close to us at this point. Yeah. He's like. You tell me you know a child molester, and and because we were like little kids, you know, like yeah. we thought that shit was funny. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. As a joke to pull on our friend who wasn't there, and we're like, yeah, A is like a, <laughs> a serious pervert. Like, oh uh, okay. And this guy's like, you know what we do in the south, and we're like, no. He's like, we take child perverts, we we beat them over the head with a shovel, put them in our car, drive them to the swamp, and bury them. And we're just like, okay, that's nice. And then the, the guy is just like, you just tell me where this pervert lives, all right? And we're like, yes. okie dokie. And then we just fucking got on the bus when it came and left. <laughs> wow. So you had no idea you were talking about a Like another year fucking 12-year-old. <laughs> no, actually, we were probably 14 or 15, but yeah. Uh, uh, he, I think he thought we were talking about an adult. And, um, <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yep. Hmm. 
it's pretty interesting. You ever had any interesting public interactions with people like that? Hmm. Not necessarily like that, but you know, in I mean, met any interesting characters? I mean, I, I would have to think about it. I'd probably have to talk about it another time because there's some guy always whacked out on drugs outside my apartment, or used to be, who was like screaming fucking racial profanity all the time. Jeez. Uh, huh. That guy was fucking crazy. <laughs> is he, wait, is he still outside? No, I haven't or... seen him in like eight months or so. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah, that dude's fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yep. <laughs> Colorful cast of characters up here in outer space. Yeah. Where Elliot lives. Yeah. Oh! I love, I love it. This is like a giant Pac-Man maze in 3D. Oh. You know that? Oh. Yeah! yeah. Hi, buddy. So, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this this temple more than the last one. Me too. This is just more fun to watch. It is. It's just, it's, it's just more, more linear. The sound is fucking cool. It's got like a sweet ambiance to it. Yeah. Um, it has a nice theme. It's not. I don't know. The, when I'm in the first temple as an adult, it feels like cold. Like you're touching cold metal. Mm -hmm. Like I get that sensation in my mind. I'm like, <laughs> ugh. I, I don't want to be here right now. Uh, Fans of the Forest Temple. Unite! <laughs> also, the Master Sword icon looks like a giant butter knife. Oh, it kind of does. It does not look sharp. Dude, I would love to have a butter knife or a steak knife that had the Master Sword hilt That'd be cool. at the bottom. That'd be sick. Yeah, it would be. That'd be so rad. I'm pretty... <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Oh, I'm pretty sure those do exist. Dude, I love going to conventions and... Uh-oh. Wanking. Uh-oh. Um, I love going to cool game conventions and seeing real master swords. Those are always cool. Yeah, I've I've met people who have master swords. Yeah, I've got one in my crotch. Uh, got him. Cool. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that joke was never funny. I, I I remember once saying that to my two younger male cousins once, something like that. Something along those lines. I th back when I was in like high school or whatever, they were like. I don't know, nine or ten or something. I just remember we were talking. Oh, 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 I thought you said they were in high school, nine or ten. No, I was. Damn, you got some prodigy ass cousins. Um, I, I just remember one time. Every time we meet up in summer, we always talk about Zelda. Usually. Don't fuck. fuck. Sorry. Ah! Ah! Huh. I I just remember we we talked about Zelda a lot, and it, it led to talking about dicks or something for whatever. And I I just remember saying. You guys have Deku sticks. I got the Master Sword. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't remember how they reacted, but I'm sure they were probably like, Okay, good for you, James. <laughs> You're older than us. <laughs> Special. They're Man, they really bombs. like weed in here. <laughs> when I was a little kid, and still kind of today, these little tunnels here, mm -hmm. it makes me think of like a pool. It do oh yeah, they do look like pool tiles. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, ooh, am I gonna go to a pool? <laughs> That's fair. It's a fire temple. Water doesn't really work here. Uh, oh, what? Seriously? God, that's annoying. <laughs> hmm. How much time we got? Ah, we're good for Eight a few years. more minutes. Ah. Do 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 do. Dude, the freaking climbing in Twilight Princess was so slow. You remember that? That's that crap sucked. Was it? Yeah, but but, but then in the HD port they they fixed it and made you climb way faster. Awesome, man. Yeah. So if we ever play Twilight Princess on Royal Goobs, we should go with the Wii U version. Sure. I was thinking of buying it anyway. So. Oh, all right, excellent. I got the Wolfwing Amiibo, so we can use that. Nice. Yeah. Just kidding, nerd. <laughs> nerd. Wee wee wee. Yeah. Fuck you, slug bitch. Eat my nice bye bow. Nice guy bow. What? Yeah. Those freaking boulders. They're I don't just think moving that's around. close enough to the wall anyway. Oh, is there something to blow up right there? I feel like there's a secret wall around one of here in these places. Let me just try for my own sanity one more time over here. Okay. Uh, make sure the bomb is close enough here. 
Uh, that's not close. I'll just walk over there. Jump over there. Mm. It's times like this, I'm glad they eventually invented the C stick, you know? Yeah. Freaking crap like this. Mm hmm. Huh? Oh yeah, that's another benefit to Twilight Princess on Wii U. You got a, you got a camera stick. That's super uh, awesome. Because on the Wii. Oh you, yeah, you it was a Wii it. game. That's right. Yeah. So that's super cool. And a GameCube game. Oh, oh yeah. No, no, that's true. Because that game was gonna be a GameCube game originally. Is it mirrored like the Wii version, or is it the OG? It's GameCube? the OG GameCube version. Oh nice, that's cool. Yeah. I'll tell you a secret for saving me. No. If you buy the place, like, you can see on the map. Do you know why they mirrored the game? I do. Uh, because the Link, because they had to make Link right-handed for the Wii, because the Wii remote yep. is in your right hand. And they're like, oh, well, we gotta mirror the entire game then. Yep, because most people are gonna be right wienered. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm right wienered. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I'm left-brained. Ah, uh, okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> I put neurotoxins in my brain that ate away the rest of it. <laughs> okay, so where are we going now? Back here. Back here? I could have just gone in that door. I Back don't know why off. I didn't, but haters. You're close to getting the hammer? Oh, uh, we've got a little ways to go. Mm. Kind of close. Uh, is it next time? Hmm. Okay. Next time on Rogue.